Okay, I rewinded and watched a few times. Now, is it like three minutes, uh, 30 some odd seconds in? Where he says unnecessary things on the stimulus. Stimulus package, along with that, would probably come a third stimulus check. We'll see what happens. All I can say is that it is a hot mess right now. These are the things that President Trump was talking about when he was saying that there's so much unnecessary waste going to foreign aid as well as special interests. I gave basically the statement that President Trump gave in terms of his pickings from the bill, but we are going to go over more in depth of the other items that he was referring to. Regarding the foreign aid, there will be $500 million allocated for Israel. There's going to be $85.5 million of assistance to Cambodia. Just why the hell is money from American taxpayers who, mind you, most of you are losing your jobs and fucking homes going to help other countries at all. Why the fuck are these idiots in Congress why, why the hell are these bureaucrats and politicians doing this shit? And it is complete fucking shit. There's people in worse situation than I'm in. <coughs> They're fucking trolls. They're just trolling the, the rest of you. By saying, oh yeah, here, we'll make a stimulus package. Uh, let's go help Israel, Cambodia. Let's go help these people. And there's more. Yeah. Just, I'm not going to play his entire video. But seriously, just watch with me for a moment. $25 million for democracy and women's rights programs in Pakistan. In fucking... Sudan. Women's rights in Pakistan, dude. You fucking idiots in Congress need to be focused on helping at home. What the hell is wrong with these trolls? You want to have help military in Egypt? Let other people stand on their own feet. What the hell is their problem with not helping the people in their fucking home? The country they're, they're supposed to be helping. What the hell is their problem? They're fucking trolls is what their problem is. And as a guy who's played video games online for many years, these these are fucking trolls. Other gamers will be being agreeing. They're fucking trolls. This shit is fucking ridiculous. Five hundred six million dollars for Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras. Nicaragua and Panama as part of the Central American Regional Security Initiative. Other regional security. Doesn't that mean security at home? Why the fuck are you helping other people outside of the nation that you're just voted in to fucking help? That's what I have to ask for these fucking trolls in Congress. Why the fuck are you doing this bullshit? It's clearly evident that they're only doing this so that they don't have to help. 
so that they can just continue to go on permanent vacation, so that they can continue being the fucking deranged trolls they are. Conclusions. Forty million dollars for the Kennedy Center in DC, which is not even open for business. Exactly. One million dollars for the Smithsonian. One hundred and fifty four million dollars for the National Gallery of Art. Seven million The National Gallery of Art. What? Are you out of your fucking mind? You're imposing lockdowns and restrictions and shit from Congress. And then you're going to go, oh yeah, here's here's money for your gallery of art. Yeah, I hope someone shows up. Yeah, have fun with that. It's nothing but a troll move. Plain and simple. You saw dude from Clear Vtax just shaking his head. He's like, this is garbage. And it is. It's fucking garbage. The House of Representatives, the Senate, these bureaucrats, these politicians are doing nothing but trolling you. They don't give a fuck about America. And they never have. And like I've said before, there's only two ways to deal with trolls of this caliber, this magnitude. The first is to ignore them. They're, they're in your fucking home country, America. You can't fucking ignore them. That's no longer an option. Second is to fuck them. Get them out of office. Kill them. Make an example of them. That's the only fucking option that's left for you, America. To get rid of these fucking pieces of shit who are trolling you. Because they don't care. They don't give a fuck if you lose your home or your job. Or you wind up homeless on the street. Unable to even sleep in a car. And don't forget... People have been sleeping in their cars because they can't afford a fucking home for years before this fucking virus broke out. For years before this situation got as bad as it is. They don't care. Let me repeat that. $2.5 million to count the number of amberjack fish in the Gulf of Mexico. A provision to promote the breeding of fish in federal hatcheries. $3 million in poultry production technology. $2 million to research the impact of, of downed trees. $566, $566 million for construction projects at the FBI. $35 million in funding for sexual abstinence programs. What? Sexual abstinence? Are you out of your fucking mind? <coughs> okay, step back in history. Another hundred years. Last time a virus broke out, it lasted for three fucking years. And right now, the second wave of this thing has just started. You're in the second wave right now. The first bit of it started up in uh, England or Britain, where it mutated and became even more infectious. Spreads faster, gets where it's going a lot more quickly. And they're worried about all of that bullshit? Seriously? These fuckers are trolls, man. Kill them. Get them the fuck out of office. The system's fucking corrupt. A permanent reduction in excise taxes 
for beer producers, wine producers, and wine distilled spirits. Yeah, that tax reduction, that's just to keep you, the commonplace citizen, drunk and deluded so that you don't care that they're trolling you. Don't confuse that with me wanting to get drunk and do dumb shit in video games. I'll still be keeping track of all this bullshit that's going on. I'll still care enough to keep track of it. Unlike the House of Representatives and the Senate and Congress, I'll still give a fuck. What else? Tax credit extensions aimed at helping the wind industry. The what? Another extension of benefits for the motor, the motor sports entertainment industry, such as NASCAR. No. By allowing the faster write down of costs related to their complexes. A tax credit to buyers of two wheeled plug in electric vehicles, that is, electric motorcycles. The credit is worth 10% of the cost of the motorcycle, so you're talking $2,500. In the bill, it prohibits the doping in horse racing. Are you There's fucking... You're concerned with fucking horse race doping? Are you out of your fucking mind? What, you just want to go down with your fucking cronies from Capitol Hill and watch a fucking horse race, but you don't want it to be doped? That's what you're doing to the rest of America. You're just doping up this fucking shit show rat race. fucking psychotic it's fucking deranged it's mental it's worse than I am in terms of psychological stability it's fucked these people are out of their fucking minds moving along there's a subsection labeled the Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Act. Really? The bill will spend money to create a committee to regulate the use of performance-enhancing drugs in horse racing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> to make illegal the streaming, it's going to be illegal. To make illegal the streaming, streaming services, to make, if you're going to stream illegally, if you're going to you're going to stream illegally, it's going to be a felony. I'm sure a lot of you caught that already in the news. In the news media already, but they're making a big deal about this one. So there's going to be several changes to copyright laws. <coughs> so if you can explain to me why that's in the omnibus bill, I want to see those passage hearings that we witnessed. This would be measures aimed at protecting the intellectual property rights of artists and entertainment companies under the law. Illegal streaming for commercial profit will become a felony. Illegal streaming will become a felony. Are you fucking serious? It's time to fucking kill these tyrants in charge. Just seriously, they're fucking whack. Just kill them and get it over with. For fuck's sake, America. Get off your asses. Stop accepting what these bitches do. Go fucking kill them. They're more concerned about copyrights and horse races and the fucking museums that are fucking closed and... Sending money to other countries, which are your fucking tax dollars, America. They're taking your money from you. Wake the fuck up. There's going to be provision that warns China against interfering in the naming of the next Dalai Lama. What? Stream live and... Fucking commercials. Seriously. They're just so full of shit. Just... 
just isn't it's incredible how full of shit they are. If you want to watch the rest of his video, go ahead. It's just a laundry list of... It's just a fucking wish list of things they want to fuck you, the people, over. As far as that streaming nonsense... In the Declaration of Independence, it states quite clearly... We have the rights, the unalienable rights of life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. If we want to stream shit, go fuck yourself, Congress. Go fuck yourself. If I want to say fucking kill them, that's my fucking right to the pursuit of happiness. That's my right to defend my life, my liberty, my pursuit of happiness. And why haven't you fucking idiots killed them already? It is beyond me. Maybe you're too doped up on drugs that they've slipped into your water supply. Maybe you just don't care. Maybe you're just too stupid. But if that's not abundantly clear, how fucking deluded and deranged these trolls are, how much they don't give a fuck about you? Just seriously. Kill yourself. Just rid the world of your stupidity. These fuckers don't care. You'll be doing them a favor by just getting rid of yourself because they no longer give a fuck about your tax dollars. They've got Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies to trade with each other for around 20000 each. They don't give a fuck about your tax money anymore. And it's been that way ever since that BitConnect bullshit. They no longer need your tax dollars. So they're going to let you suffer and squirm because they don't care. They don't need you. If you don't believe me, just keep waiting and watching. Just keep sitting on your ass in apathy. Because apathy is death. You're just going to keep sitting there until one day you, you don't have a place to sit. You're going to be in a ditch on the side of the road. And you've got nothing. What then? Wake the fuck up, America. You've been deluded and led straight to the slaughterhouse by these fucking scumbags, these tyrants. It's time for you to get up off your ass, kill them, and do something worthwhile. Instead of just sitting there like a fucking inert lump of shit. Get rid of these trolls. Since you Americans worship children so much, do it for your children's future. Because if you don't, they won't have one. Because these bureaucrats and politicians, they don't care. They don't need your tax dollars anymore. That's why, that's one of the reasons why they're just letting you all suffer. They do not care. They don't need a stimulus bill. They don't need your tax dollars. They don't need that job. They've already been set for life. With their internal trading in the fucking stock exchange. With their fucking cryptocurrencies. They don't need you anymore. They're at a point where they believe that their current isolated system is completely isolated from the rest of you. is completely self-sustaining. They don't care. They're focused on serving their circle jerk with their friends in Congress, with their cronies. 
They don't fucking care. And these are the things I know as an absolute. I know they've already got this shit set up. So that they don't have to care about you. So your only options are to ignore them, which isn't a fucking option anymore, or to fucking kill them. Get rid of them, because they're parasites, draining what little joy that you have left in life. And if you don't believe just me... Look in the Declaration of Independence. It says that it's the citizen's responsibility to rise up against such tyranny and to absolve it or destroy it. So fucking destroy it already, America. Cut the cancer out of your heart. <laughs>